What's up Mets fans? Welcome back to the channel and we have some fairly breaking news to announce over the past 24 hours and yes you heard that correctly. Breaking news during a lockout. Who would have thought right? That being from SNY's Andy Martino and I know it's Andy but hear me out as he came out with this piece saying that the Mets should not be fully counted out on going after Japanese superstar outfielder and Sei Suzuki when the lockout lifts. So that's what I'll be breaking down in today's video. Everything that there is to know about this report. Sei Suzuki, his current connection if at all with the New York Mets, the likelihood, unlikelihood of the Mets actually landing someone like Say Suzuki, and so much more. So as always, folks, make sure you stay all the way till the end of the video. Follow the details on my thoughts on Say Suzuki and what he could potentially bring to the New York Mets should a signing happen. And of course, folks, if you find yourself enjoying this kind of Mets content and you want to see more great Mets content like this, don't hesitate for smashing that like and subscribe on sharing this video with your friends, put on the notification bell, all those great things. Thank you all so much for the continued support, folks. Now let's jump right into today's video. But before I go any further, I have to let you guys all know that today's video is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. The NFL playoffs are here, folks, and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is kicking things off with a huge offer. Counting down to Super Bowl 56, new customers can get 56 to 1 odds on any NFL playoff team to win their game. Bet just $5 and win 280 in free bets if your team is in fact victorious. Yeah, that's right. Bet just $5 on any NFL playoff team, and DraftKings Sportsbook is giving new customers 280 in free bets if their team does in fact win. And if Sportsbook isn't available in your state, you still have something to be playing for this NFL playoff weekend. Everyone can play for huge cash prizes with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Football Contest. And DraftKings is giving all their new customers a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with their first deposit. So at this point, what are you waiting for, right? Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now, use my promo code LGM, and get 56 to 1 odds on any NFL playoff. Playoff team. Bet just $5 and win 280 in free bets if your team wins. That's promo code LGM at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. All right, folks, so as many of you know by now, Sei Suzuki is someone that the Mets have already shown interest in pre-lockout that we discussed in a separate video a couple months ago, so make sure to check it out in the links down below in the description, as always, folks, should you be inclined to see it if you haven't already. But Sei Suzuki, the 27-year-old phenom coming from the Nippon Pro Baseball League, who spent the majority of his career with the Hiroshima Carp, is going to be a hot commodity once the lockout lifts, and numerous teams have been connected to Sei already. We're looking at upwards of half a dozen at this point, with some key teams being in the San Francisco Giants, the Texas Rangers, the Boston Red Sox have looked like an early favorite at times, but again, there's still uncertainties there. Even further, the Seattle Mariners and plenty of other clubs, but the Mets find themselves in an interesting spot because I wholeheartedly thought that the Mets were completely out on Sei Suzuki in the sense that they just didn't have any more interest in him knowing that they made their signings in Starling Marte and Marcana. But apparently, according to this report specifically, it's that one team scout is saying to really not write the Mets off just yet because one, it's Steve Cohen we're working with here, and two, the Mets are probably going to be focusing on more, say, mid-level type deals, shorter term at least, for say, a long-term type deal for a Carlos Correa or even a Chris Bryant, which I don't believe the Mets will go long-term with Chris Bryant. The only way I see that happening is on shorter term, so that's just reaffirming the same news. But with them focusing on more short, mid to shorter term options, Say Suzuki has always been that appealing guy that's deemed to probably sign on a three to at most five year deal will probably land in that sweet spot in four years if I had to personally guess at this point in time but there's no denying that if you can land someone like Say Suzuki he would be a huge get for this New York Mets team that they can utilize and say even a platoon role with someone like Marcana and that would be a nice kind of pivot to hit the MLB level knowing that the Mets don't have to stress out about a guy that has no MLB level experience to this point in case maybe things go a little slow to start his career in the scenario that they were to sign him that they have Mark Canna there to really balance things in that outfield and get creative based on matchups but Sei Suzuki has been simply dominant one of the best hitters in the game for the Nippon Pro Baseball League throughout the entirety of his career specifically since 2016 and beyond because coming out of his ninth MPB season all of the Hiroshima Carp the 27 year old versatile infielder and outfielder who's still very much known for the right field position which he has a gold glove on his resume in the Nippon Pro Baseball League Say Suzuki had truly a tremendous 2021 campaign, has had numerous tremendous campaigns for that matter, but this past year in just over 130 games played and just
just over 530 plate appearances, 77 runs scored, 38 bombs, almost 40, 88 RBIs, almost 90 there for a 317, 433, and 636 clip. Has put up as many strikeouts as he has done with walks over these past couple years, which is so insane in itself. And in just over 900 career games in the Nippon Pro Baseball League and over 3,500 plate appearances, 548 runs scored, 182 home runs, north of 200 there, 562 RBIs for a career, 315, 414, and 570 clip. Just truly fantastic numbers as one of the most dominant hitters that the MPB has seen in quite some time. And it truly is that versatility that sticks out the most to me personally because Billy Epler, Mets newly crowned GM over the past couple months, has been a heavy advocate of players that can play all around the diamond, especially in that infield and in the outfield specifically. And Suzuki, when looking at his career, can play at third base if you need to him. Has experience at the shortstop position can even play some at first base along with all around the outfield and again don't get me wrong right field is definitely what has been best for him not just based on his arm but also his glove that's right around average nothing crazy but can definitely get the job done so the Mets they can go very different routes with someone like say Suzuki should they sign someone like him so the question is can the Mets some sign someone like say Suzuki that's the biggest question right because he is someone that has been deemed okay he's a heavy favorite for the Boston Red Red Sox. I do believe the Red Sox are just one of multiple teams that have a better chance than the Mets at this current time. Again, until proven otherwise, I'd love to be proven wrong. I want Say Suzuki on this team. It just felt far fetched after they signed both Canna and, yes, Starling Marte. But now, how you look at how things are configuring, and they do want to go down the Suzuki route, that does make sense. But Boston, again, they did that trade right at the final second up until the lockout, that being in parting ways with Hunter Renfro and bringing in their former outfit fielder and Jackie Bradley Jr. who did not have a good offensive year whatsoever this past year so in my mind he really profiles best as a as a defensive replacement, a fourth outfielder, because you're going after someone like, say, Suzuki. Suzuki did actually follow the Red Sox on Instagram and then unfollow them after a little bit. Not sure exactly why, but obviously there's connections there. Along with the Yankees have shown interest, the Blue Jays, a bunch of teams. Again, the Giants, the list goes on and on. A lot of teams want this guy, so if it comes down to price and price alone, that's where I do believe the Mets can come out on top, because this is Steve Cohen we're talking about. The Mets have shown a willingness that whenever they actually want Want to go hard after a player they're going to do everything humanly possible to make that happen and suzuki he is that perfect balance of someone that's young only 27 about to be 28 and still you can land not on a long-term contract not a seven-year six-year commitment or even five maybe that's something that of course michael conforto probably wants but rather a guy on a three four-year type deal that's exactly what can make sense for the mets here high aav and again knowing that they already have this depth defensively and offensively in that outfield especially when Marcana gives the Mets, Mets flexibility to go however they wish with having someone like Suzuki and for maybe the majority games maybe Canna comes off the bench or vice versa again a lot of different possibilities here but all that would make so much sense for the Mets Suzuki if you're going after a bat still in free agency without trying to commit long term he is that guy he is a safe bet for someone that still does not have MLB experience but knowing the potential upside here the ceiling very well could be that x factor because suzuki does profile as someone that very well can be dominant at the mlb level and be consistent in doing so he is in huge swing and miss he has a tremendous walk rate for his strikeouts the ratio is actually like perfect it's actually remarkable how exact these are over the past couple years for himself and the mpb so mets fans i really want to know what your thoughts are on say suzuki potentially coming to the new york mets again i do think that other teams have an upper hand as of now over the mets but once the offseason picks up again post lockout anything can happen the Mets want to go shorter term with someone he definitely checks off those boxes and someone that I absolutely again want to see Landon Queens I'm sure many of you feel the same so Mets fans let me know all your thoughts in the comments below how do you feel about Say Suzuki is he going to land with the Mets or do you think he's going to go elsewhere and of course Mets fans if you ended up enjoying this kind of Mets content and you want to see more great Mets content like this don't hesitate from smashing that like and subscribe button sharing this video with your friends on the notification bell all those great things thank you all so much for the continued support as always help us get a 13k subs for the next short-term goal thank you all so much again as always and i'll be back here on the channel real soon and of course let's go mets baby